is open to the public and what makes this particular um, this particular workshop, the first of the series, uh, most important is that uh, this is something which we are organizing together with um, the Sangunian Kabataan Chairperson no, of uh, this, this district of Ermita, this Ms. Marinel Completo, who have graciously um, agreed to uh, to take uh, to, to to cover no, the art requirements of children no, who she has who she has gathered in their um, district hall um, to join us in this particular workshop uh, because I have long I have um, consulted with or discussed with Miss um, with Vila with being famoso our artist no, which among the which which among the workshops would be most ideal for children and then she said uh, because being famoso um, have actually have actually con conduct workshops for all age groups and then she said uh, that the first one no what we're having today which is focus on reflation no less no what is the most uh, what we consider to be most um, one of our most um, how do you call this uh, famous no? uh, endemic flowers or local flower so this will be the subject for today and um, and the, the workshop is geared to, to uh, be appreciated by all age groups no? from mothers it's the month of May to children as young as five no? so um, after I'm, I pra I'm practically done, I'm just, give the ori I'm just giving the orientation for the day's activity. But before I give you to um, our artist, um, uh, being famoso, let me call on first uh, Marinel Completo, yes, who is actually having this collab with us for this particular workshop. So uh, Marinel, would you like to, uh, have I made you co-host already? I have, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So Marinel, some things about yeah about your your the area which you cover and the activities which you have in your um, under your jurisdiction. Go ahead, Marinel. Uh, so good afternoon, everyone. Um, uh, I am Marinel Completo. I am a third year B Philippine art student of UP Manila as well, and I am also a, a Sangguniang Kabataan chairperson of Barangay Six Six Nine in Ermita. Um, it is located here in the heart of Robinsons, Manila, and near UP Manila as well. So um, here I have a, a kid now with me who will be joining us, and others are also um, joining us via Zoom, and more kids will join us um, later on, and we have prepared uh, tables for them here for the art workshop. And um, for, the, for last year, we had a an art workshop as well, an art therapy project. Um, it was a project that was motivated by our um, prof, um, Dr. Honey uh, Liberty in Labor, because um, it was a requirement for us, but it was so fulfilling that I was able to um, com communicate or give arts a tool um, for something for mental wellness for kids, most especially so um, for the past years and um, that I am a SK chairperson, um, I think I am also um, advocating as well. I am now um, talagang geared na ako as well na mag, uh, magturo about arts and using it as a powerful tool for community development as well. So I am for that's all. All right. Thank you, Marinelle. That is wonderful. So once again, everyone, uh, Marinelle uh, also happens to be our um, I'm a BA Philippine Arts, Cultural Heritage and Arts Management um, Program student in the University of the Philippines, Manila. So thank you. Uh, I'll just uh, play a short clip about uh, on one minute clip on Project Fara, and then this will be followed by uh, the, our artist talk, no? which will also serve as an introduction or a formal introduction to our workshop. Okay, Bing? You can have that after, uh, before you are tempted. Yes, okay. no problem. Once again, thank you, Marinelle. Thank you very much. For that. Uh, and looking forward to be with your kids in a while. <laughs>
So, let me stop share. I'm sorry, na play ko siya kulat. I'm sorry. Stop. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, stop share. Uh, it has stopped, right, Bing? Yes, pa. yes, it's done. Stop. Yes, that is also that is done by uh, Elijah Del Rosario, no? and uh, it was just premiered today in our uh, third Flores de Mayo festival. No? And uh, yes, just just for those who were not with us this morning, so this workshop is actually part of the first day of our third Flores de Mayo festival. No? It is a week long activity which is open to the public. All right. So, uh, without further ado, let me introduce to you our um, our artists for the day. No? In fact, for the four workshops. No? So, um, take it take it take it away, Bing. Okay. Hello, nako magandang hapon po. Thank you so much, Professor Levy. You know what, uh, Professor Levy, Doctor Levy is actually one of my favorite professors when I was still studying. Uh, in UP Manila, taking up Philippine arts. So, si Marinelle, uh, parang ano kami, pareho kami ng kurso. At Marinelle, uh, proud din akong sabihin na isa din akong SK person. Actually, we were the first batch noong 1992. <laughs> Ang tagal na nun. So, it, uh, parang siya ang nagpaaral sa akin sa UP Manila that time because if you're an SK um official na uh, libre ka sa tuition. So anyway, maraming salamat at andito tayo ngayon um, and ibabahagi natin ang simpleng pagpipinta. Siguro right now, I will be just speaking in our vernacular language no? kasi madami tayong mga kabataan ngayon na kasama doon sa barangay nila Marinel. And I know that we also have students of Professor Bing Bonilla. Nako, favorite ko din si Ma'am Bing kasi professor ko din siya dati sa Phil Arts. So anyway, um, ngayon naisip ko na Mm, ang ating gagawing uh, uh, reference for our painting is a Rafflesia. Kasi Rafflesia, isa siya. Siya ang species ng pinakamalaking bulaklak. Imagine, pinakamalaking bulaklak sa buong mundo. So, sa Philippines alone, sa dami-dami ng mga Rafflesia sa buong mundo, I think we have 13 species endemic. Endemic, ibig sabihin nito na dito lang siya sa Pilipinas makikita. No? Pero ang pinakamalaking rafflesia, I think matatagpuan, hindi ko tatanong natin mamaya doon sa ating uh, botanist na si John Ray Calyado na galing sa National Museum na yung rafflesia arnoldii na I think sa Malaysia or Indonesia siya makikita. So anyway, itong ating species na pipinta natin this afternoon is a rafflesia speciosa. Okay, na matatagpuan ito sa Miagaw, Iloilo. Ang photo reference natin ay mula kay Sir John Ray Calyado na napakabait at ipinahiram sa atin ang kanyang photo na siya mismo ang kumuha nung siya ay nagtitrekking sa Miagaw. Kaya sinamahan ako ni Sir John Ray ngayon. 